mystery unveiled. Um, very famous opening first chord. It's a little tricky, you know, there's all kinds of reports as to what was going on here. There's a few things overdubbed and, well, not really overdubbed, but there's a couple of instruments playing at the same time. The guitar is basically playing a G7 suspended 4, which is done by putting a bar at the 3rd fret, your 3rd finger on the 5th string at the 5th fret, and your 4th finger on the 3rd string at the 5th fret. That's the best thing you can do on the guitar to sound like it. The only thing that the Beatles did differently was that Paul was playing a D in the bass. Now, you could play this chord and only hit five strings, and now you have the sound, because you're not, you're not hearing the low G in the bass. So G7 suspended four with D in the bass. Opens up a hard day's night. The rest of the song is pretty straightforward. It's just strumming chords. seven here to get the sound of what they're singing. They're singing a, a flatted seventh on the C chord, which would be a B flat, and then back to a G chord. Um, anyway, you can find the chords all over the place. I'll probably have a chart up for that at, at Totally Guitars sometime soon. Um, and then there's a cool little lead in there too, so someday I'll get around to addressing that lead. It was done on a 12-string guitar, so it doesn't sound a whole lot like what I just did right there. Well. No, it does sound a lot like what I just did right there, but it's a little uh, dressed up on an electric 12-string guitar, and uh, it's, it's very cool. Anyway, hopefully a bunch of other cool stuff over at Totally Guitars, so come check us out. There's a bunch of lessons and uh, tips, techniques, uh, talk a little bit about how to hold a pick, how to do some strumming, some easy bar chords, and things like that. So um, visit us when you can, and uh, hope you have a fun time messing with Hard Day's Night.